God morning and welcome to another episode of Cheer Inspirations with Pastor John of East Atlanta Church. Listen, this morning I want to talk to you about unity. You know, I know you're getting ready, ready to hit the mat, ready to work it and go ahead and get another championship, get another medal, get another title and work towards Summit, work towards Worlds, work towards Dallas, whatever it is, work towards Cheer Sport, Championship, Nationals. Listen, but you cannot do it unless you're unified. This goes within your family, this goes with your job, this goes with anything you do. Do. And especially in cheering, if you look at me in 1 Corinthians and 12 and 4, it says there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. And we go down to verse 12 and it says, just as one body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts from one body. So it is with Christ, for we are all baptized in one spirit and born to one body. And now, if we look at verse 15, I love this verse in 15. I want you to get this. Now, if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not, for that reason, stop being the body part. If the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong in the body, it would not, for that reason, stop being a body part. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed a part in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, we would be one body. As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye can't say, I want to be a hand, I don't need you. The head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. And on the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And parts that are weak or less honorable, we treat as a special honor. What does that mean, Pastor? I want to give you that because it means this. I know sometimes we get upset. We look at it and say, you know what, I want to be in a tumble pass, or I want to be a flyer, or you know, I want to be in the front of the dance, or I want to be in front of the jumps, or I want to do this, and I want to do that. But you got to understand, you're working together as one body, as one purpose, you know? You can't tell the you can't tell the bass you're not as good as the flyer, because you need the bass for the flyer. You can't tell the flyer you're not as good as the back spot, because you need that back spot. You can't tell the person in the back that, hey, you're not as good as me because you're in the back. No, because we're looking at it all collectively as a team just remember one thing about it you're one unit if one person fails you're all failing you know so you got to lift each other up and if one person falls short then we got to come together and pick them up we got to help them out just the same as in your family you can't look and say well I make more money than you or I do more work than you in the house or I take the kids here and you don't do that we all play our own parts and we got to realize that if it wasn't for one it couldn't be the other see God puts us together to work as one you have friends that some of you, one person may be good in math, and another person may be good in English, and another person may be good in Spanish, but you can work together and share. And what we got to understand is we have to work together. We are but one body. We're one unit. We're one team. We're one gym. No team is better than the other. Level five can't tell level one that they're better than them because understand, we're still all one family. We're one unit. We're one stingrays. Can't say one, one location is better than the other because we're still Steal one family. So this morning, today, as you're getting out there and you're hitting that mat, I want you to realize I don't care what problems you may have had, what you may be going through, I want you to know that, hey, we're working together as one. One team, one goal, one body, serving one God. This is Pastor John, Pastor of East Atlanta Church, and I want you to know something. I love you and you will be blessed, but remember, we are one. Love you and be blessed.